Hi everyone, it's been a very, very long time. I want to apologize for taking this long before bringing up another tutorial it's because of the season. And while saying that, I would also like to add, please don't mind my hair is also because of the season. We'll get to look better after the season. Okay, so for today's tutorial, we're going to be making a little girl's Christmas dress because of the season yet again this is a highly requested video okay i nearly forgot about this request until i started making a particular dress for a client then i remembered about the request okay now i have here the remnants of this fabric is actually two yards and i used it to make the same type of dress for three little girls okay and then i also have one yard of this cord material i hope you can see it okay this is one yard this is two yards okay and i also used two yards of bridal satin that is doll face for it i hope you understand so this is two yards bridal satin two yards and this cord one yard okay and like i said i already made two of it before i remembered of this request so i'll be using this remaining one to make one extra dress of the same style okay i hope you understand so we'll just get straight to the point meanwhile i hope you guys are doing okay by the way i missed all of you let's just hit the cutting table okay so i cut these two pieces using the largest body measurement at the upper part okay this is on fold this also is on fold okay and one of it is for the back panel the other one is going to be for the front panel okay you will need to bring out your zipper allowance of whatever inch you desire i have here one and a half inches for my zipper allowance and then my half length that is shoulder to waistline is nine inches nine inches and I'll be marking 10 inches. I added one inch extra. I'll be placing the markings on the right side of the fabric because of the nature of the fabric. Just so everyone gets to see it. Okay. Now the shoulder is eight, which is four, since it's on fold. For the armhole, I'll be using four and a half inches I hope you are following four and a half inches for the armhole and then for the shoulder slope one inch here I hope sorry half inch here I hope you understand half inch here okay and then at the neckline two inches I hope you understand so two inches from the folded side and then half inch here okay we join the line this is for the shoulder slope I hope you can see it now our bust is 21 I'll be using the bust and the waist as the same 21 which is here this is 2021 20, okay i hope you see it and then i'll be adding allowance of two and a half inches because i wouldn't want the dress to be very clingy on the body okay so this is my allowance okay it is okay here if you choose to take your ankle curve a little bit inwards since this baby does not have any bust okay so if it is it is okay if you decide to just move in a little bit okay because there's not going to be any sleeve here all right and then the waist like i said i'll, I'll be using the bust measurement for the waist Okay, so whatever I have at the bust measurement is what I'll use for my waist measurement. Okay. 
I hope you see what we have. For the neckline, I'm using two inches. And for the volume, three inches. Okay. If you are making for your baby, you can cut and place it on her neck to check if it is what you want. Okay. This is for the front. For the back, one and a half inches okay i hope you get it this is the volume of the neckline for the back this for the front i came in from here with two inches for my shoulder slope and then half inch here i hope you understand and the armhole is four and a half inches because of the half inch I'm, i was going to take from up here Okay, it is done now. I'll now cut. Okay, so this is what we have. I hope you see it for the upper part, then we we'll go to the lower part, which is a peplum. Okay, so for the peplum, we go the normal way we cut a circle top or circle dress. You first fold into two. And then you fold again, making it into four. Okay, now with this done, our waist measurement is 21, the radius is 3.34, but I'll just make it 3.5. Okay. Okay, now with this done, our full length from the waist down to the desired length is 15 inches in uh, allowance inclusive. 15 inches. So I'm going to mark 15 inches all the way around, just the same way we do our circle dresses. Okay, the next thing will be to now cut this one out because this is the one we actually need. Okay, having cut it out, you see, assuming I leave it like this and insert my zip, this place is not going to be relaxed. So in order to allow this place to be relaxed, I'll move it by two inches. And then connect these two inches to this place. Just something like this. Okay, just so this place does not point when I want to join it. Okay, so we have something like this, which is perfect. This peplum is going to be shorter than the first one. So I'm folding again the normal way we do a circle dress. Okay, so we continue with a reduce three and a half.
between and then for the length seven and a half Okay. Okay. So I'm repeating the same thing, taking away two inches from this lower part and joining it to the waist area. Okay. So the next thing will be to now cut out this paper lining. I'll place this one on it, cut it out. Also place this one on it, cut it out. I've also cut out lining for the upper part. Okay. Okay. Now I've cut out all the linings and also the inter lining. I've also glued it against the body of our fabric. For this, I used a black satin as the lining. Then for this big one, I used an ash color satin, which goes with the color here. That's the intention, okay? And for the upper part, I used the same material as the lining. So I'll just proceed to the machine to line all of them. I hope you all know how we do the lining. And this is how I'm going to be doing it. So I'm going to run along this lower part of our circle, along this area. I'm going to work like this until I get to the end. Then I'll open it up and top stitch as usual. I hope you understand. I'm going to first work this way, both on this smaller circle and this bigger one. I'm going to take the same procedure for the both of them. Okay. After I'm done with this first stitching, I will open it up this way and then top stitch again on top of our lining just to hold it firm. All right. So now we have to attach the trimmings first before putting the lining. Okay. And this is how we go about it. It's not going to completely cover the whole of this fabric. Okay. So it's going to take a shape similar to this. I'm going to go ahead and use chalk to mark it out properly. Okay. So I will start from here. It's going to cover this side, but this side is going to be partially covered. Okay. You may not see it now, but when I trim it off, you will get to see it better. So carefully. Now you see it has a designs or patterns on it. I'm going to follow the patterns to trace it out so that I don't have rough edges where the thread will be coming off. So I'll carefully follow the pattern and trace whatever I want out. Now this is what we have after the trimmings. I hope you see how it is so i'll go to the machine first of all before lining it i will make sure i tack all of them against the body of the fabric before i now line it i'll just follow the patterns and keep sewing just to attach the trimmings against the body of the fabric also at the front panel i mean the upper part we did the same thing there, okay? You see the way I placed it. I also go to the machine, first of all, 
sew it against the body of this fabric before I now line it okay i'm going to be closing up since it is a sleeveless dress i'm going to be closing up both the armhole the neckline and the two sides then i will turn it and close up the remaining ones so this is it this is our front panel well lined like i said earlier i use the same fabric as the lining <coughs> and these are the two back panels well lined as well okay i've also inserted the dart now the dart for small children the measurement for it is two inches i hope you understand when you put your fabric on fold this way you measure two inches and then from that two inches you notch that is where you add your dart as for the height of the dart it is normally two and a half inches perfect for it okay now for the back also in order not to make mistakes remember always remember your zipper allowance once you remember your zipper allowance others will fall in place i hope you see it this is my zipper allowance it is in place okay all right so now in all this is what we have our front panel our two back panels this is one of the peplums. I hope you can see how beautiful it is. And by the way, it has quality weight because of the pattern and the satin I used for the lining. You also have the longer one. Remember, I used silver satin as the lining. Okay. I used it because of this so that in case it goes up at any time, this is what you see, which is still beautiful. And also side ropes i hope you can see this also the reason i'm putting side ropes is because i use the bust measurement as the waist measurement so for it to fit perfectly these two side rope is going to help fit it very very well okay now the last thing we should talk about is the net we are going to be adding to it okay now for this length, for this long circle, what we have is, is 14 inches. And then for the net, this is 3 yards by the way. Okay, 3 yards. I already used it for the two. Remember I said we are making 3 of this, of this dress. And I already made 2. So this is what we have left after I made 2. Okay, and it is 3 yards of net fabric now here we have 14 inches at the as the length of the circle and the net is supposed to be a little bit longer than this circle in other words we are going to be making the net to be about 15 or 15 and a half inches or 16 inches there about so that it is longer than the fabric i hope you understand so i'm going to be using 15 inches or 16 inches for the measurement of this net okay so i'll first of all cut the net and the measurements i need you just make sure you lay it out perfectly so that there are no squeezes or creases in order to get the accurate measurements now when you are sure you've done that you take your measurement like I said I'll be using 16 inches which is here so this is what I'll be working with it is three yards don't forget that okay Okay, now the next thing to, we shall do is to gather these three yards of net fabric around the waistline area. If you like, you use the machine to gather before you add it here. But I will just be doing it straight at the waistline area of our dress. I hope you see what I'm doing. So I will just continue to 
do this until the waistline has taken up the whole of the three yards or whatever it is that is okay but i'm sure all of them will enter so i'll go to the machine and just begin to gather it like so now when i am done doing this i will now attach this one on top of the net like this i hope you understand it now okay so this is what we have i've joined both the net and this other circle okay and our dress is gradually taking shape the next thing we are going to do is to join both front and back panels together at the shoulder first of all and then using the body measurement so i'll join at the shoulder and close it up here using the body measurement but before doing that we will join as i'm joining as i'm closing it up at the two sides i will now insert the belt i hope you understand i will insert it like this like this and then i'll close it up so that when you open it the belt is staying this way i hope you get me placing the belt like this i'm going to now close up the side so that the belt will be inwards not this way please not this way the belt is placed inwards okay i'll go to the machine now and join them and here is what we have you can see the belt okay the next thing second to the last thing to do is to now join this beautiful piece at the waist line okay so i also go to the machine and join it at the waist line okay after that we will now insert the zip okay i've joined for the upper and the lower panels together and it's just looking so beautiful the next thing will be to just insert a zip i went down by five inches from the waistline i hope you see it and on that five inches i closed it up down to the end of the dress okay following our zip allowance all right so the next thing will just be to insert our zip and that will be all so i'll go to the machine and neatly insert our zip okay people we are done and trust me when i say that this dress is beautiful so so fabulous i hope you can see it i hope you see how cute it is okay also the back this is the back side all right Thank you for watching till the end i appreciate all of you thank you for your comments and your likes and if you are new to this channel please don't leave without hitting the red icon to subscribe and also touching the notification bell for those of you looking at my hair please ignore the hair sometime in the nearest future is going to be taken care of but for now it should remain like this take very good care of yourself and let me also add season's greetings to all of you and your family members. The needle woman loves you from the bottom of my heart. And then to the young ladies in the house whom this dress is going to fit perfectly well this season. Please do all the guy in the world because you are wearing something very, very fabulous. Okay? Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching till the end. Thank you for being with me even up to this time of the year. I appreciate you guys a lot. And I also apologize for not putting up videos as often as I used to do. It's because of the season. Okay? Till we meet in my next tutorial, please prepare for the season very well and be the reason someone will smile this Christmas. So till we meet in my next tutorial, I love you from the bottom of my heart and season's greetings to all of you. Enjoy your Christmas in case we don't get to see you again. Bye!